Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Laura. So today I'm going to be working in what I call the main garden. It's the like the vegetable garden area. Um, I want to make an herb spiral. I've had one for the past couple years, but I keep changing where it is. So this hopefully will be its permanent spot and um, come along with me and I'll talk about an, what an herb spiral is and how it works and I'm going to make mine out of rocks. We have a lot of rocks on the property so we're going to do that and come along. Thanks. So this main, this huge area in the middle of our yard, backyard, is what I call the main garden. It's really the main vegetable garden but I am also adding this border of flowers. So anyway, this section here is a little bit more rocky than the rest of it. Like the soil over there is really nice. But over here it's pretty rocky. So I'm going to put the herb spiral in this area here. Hang on, my dog's running away. Okay, everything's fine. <laughs> He's back. He just squeezes through this little space here at the bottom of the gate. So I forgot to put the rock in front. Luckily, he comes back <laughs> if you just offer him a treat. So he doesn't go far. Good boy. That's Boomer. Boomer. Okay, so anyway, this is where I'm going to put it. I'm going to have to move these plants out. And then I'll bring a bunch of rocks over here and we'll get started. Okay, so I had to take a break there because of the rain, but this is our spot. Here's some rocks that I have. I may need to grab some more. We'll see. I'm going to draw out, well, I'm going to use yarn, but you could um, draw it with chalk or just make an outline with the first layer of rocks. So I'm just going to draw out the shape that I want it to be in. Okay, so this is roughly the shape I'm going for. I started actually at the end and worked my way back because this is like the lowest point here. Some people choose to put a little pond, like a little tiny pond, at the end of their herb spiral. I'm not going to do that, but if I did, that would be where it would go. And then these, this area here will get the most shade and we'll plant the most water-loving plants down towards the bottom. It will get higher and higher as you go around and the center will be the highest point and that'll be for your heat lovers and your herbs that like dry conditions. The whole idea is that the water will settle so as you water the top, it waters all around and all the way down and any excess would go into your little pond. So I'm going to start adding layers of rock. Here we go. Okay, the first layer is down. I try to pick like flatter rocks. And I'm putting the bigger ones at the bottom, and they'll get progressively smaller as we get higher. Okay, I've added some more. There's a lot more to go, but this is just to give you an idea of how it's progressing. And you can do this with really any material. So if you have bricks laying around, you can do it with bricks rocks, 
cinder blocks, I guess. It's really whatever your imagination can conjure. <laughs> okay, I think this is good. It's, um, it's not that tall. It's not perfect. But neither am I. And that's really what I like about it. The imperfections are what make things charming to me. So you can see it starts low and gradually gets taller. And now we fill with dirt and plants. Okay, so it's been a few days and the weather has taken a turn for the better. This is how it's looking so far. I had to take a break because I didn't have enough soil to fill it. But I got some. So we're going to finish filling it up and plant our plants. And I'll talk about how I'm going to position them as well. Okay, so we got it all filled up with dirt and I use the dirt as also like a stabilizing agent too. So once the dirt's in, the rocks aren't going to move as much. So I like to fill it up right to the top of the outside edge. So here's how it's looking. Right. Now, for my plants, the sun here tracks from like this way all the way across like that. So, so this is in a pretty much full sun spot. So, I'm going to put my driest plants at the top and my more moisture liking plants as we go towards the bottom. So let's lay them out. I have a rosemary that I'm going to put right at the top because they like it hot and dry. Okay, and then I have a sage plant. They also like hot and dry. So it's going to go towards the top. If I had an oregano, I would put it in this area too. I do have one, but it's in the garden over there. And it likes its spot, so I'm just going to leave it. Okay, on this side, I'm going to put my thyme. This is a German thyme. And it likes it a little bit shadier. So as the rosemary grows, it will shade out a little bit from the morning sun coming in this way. And then I have a maple here. So this side gets less sun than the other side because of that maple tree. This is really a very, very much a microclimate. So... It's really the perfect spot for an herb spiral because the different areas here change a lot <clears throat> with the sun. Okay, and over here I'm going to put my basil. I don't want to put it too far over here because it'll get a little less light. It loves sun and heat but it wants to be moister, more moist than a rosemary. So it's gonna go on this side.
And then lastly, where'd you go? There she is. I'm going to put a parsley down here. This would be a good spot for like a cilantro as well, but I do not like <laughs> cilantro. If you know, you know. Okay, so that's going to be the layout. It's only five herbs. I have more herbs in my other garden as well. So, but this is kind of a mini herb spiral setup. So, let's get them planted. All right, they're all planted up. I think it looks great. I love it. And if I want, I still have some room to add more. I might put like some chives in this area. They like it moist. What else? What would you guys put? I have a bunch of dill, but that grows super tall. Like really tall last year. It was like four feet high. So I'm going to put that somewhere else. <laughs> so here's the finished product. Pretty happy with it. And um, we do have a chipmunk problem here. The last time I made the herb spiral, they burrowed holes into it, like at the top, and made their own little like, tunnel system. <laughs> so hopefully having it closer to the house will help with that problem. Boomer's out here helping me, of course. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you guys have an herb spiral or if you're planning on making one or maybe you have a dedicated herb garden. Thank you for joining. We will see you in the next one. Bye.